Photopea tutorial, how to use Photopea. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Photopea. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So as you can see, I'm over here onto their website, photopea.com. And over here, you can see it is a free online photo editor. So it's an alternative to Adobe Photoshop, right? If you want to quickly go ahead and access a photo editor online and absolutely free, Photo P is the go-to. Over here, as you can see, it's fully local. There are no uploads. Photo P runs on your device using your CPU and your GPU. It's cost-effective. It's a convenient editor. As you can see, it's free and it runs everywhere. So that's pretty cool. You can even use it on your phone as well, which I think is pretty cool. They also have some AI as well. So you can see right here, all essential features such as, you know, layers, mask layers, object adjusting and filters, all of that cool stuff is available on Photo P. So let's go ahead and get started with it. So over here, you can see you have the start using Photo P option right here. And at the top, you also have some other options such as tutorial, templates, and API. If we go to templates, this is the template section right here. Here you can go ahead and quickly, uh, you know, select one of these templates, select a mock-up and start editing it out. So here you can get started with your YouTube channel. Here you can see, you know, your logo animation, top bottom, you've got your 3D logo mock-up over here your logo over here it's pretty cool a lot of cool options so as you can see you can go ahead and you know edit thumbnails like mr beast as well so it's pretty cool but yeah uh let's go ahead and click on start using photo p and show you how easy it is so just simply click on start using photo p and give it a couple of seconds and it's going to load up right here as you can see so down below you can see some of the file types that it supports so it supports any file type such as jpeg png gifs and everything it supports raw files pdf sketches Figma files, uh, Adobe XD, AI, or AL, which is Adobe Illustrations. It even supports the PSD file, which is Photoshop files. And over here on the left-hand side, you've got your main options. This is home, this device P. Here you can go ahead and upload a new project from your computer, drop a file from your computer and start editing it out. Or you can just simply click on new project and create a new project. At the top, you have your other options such as file edit language, such as file, edit, image, layer, select, filter, view, windows, and account as well. So if you wanted to create an account, just simply click on account button and you can go ahead and sign up right here. So you've got free options in the premium. The premium is going to be $5 per month, but I don't really think you would need that. As you can see, there's no ads over here, but I am using an ad blocker just for the sake of this video so that you guys can have a clean experience. But yeah, if you don't want any ads, you got to go ahead and purchase it, you know, support the creator 3000 ai credits per month in the premium one p drive which is going to be five gigabytes and two times more steps in history as well so you can go ahead and see what it is you're doing this is the account types of course uh, if you click on go premium this is for single use 30 days 90 days uh, 365 you know 50 dollars for that team of five is going to be different team of 20 is going to be different and team of 50 is going to be different i don't know if it's necessary though but yeah you have the option as well here you have the distributors right and the, you have the ai credits option as well if you want to go ahead and log in click on login option and here you can go ahead and log in with your google or microsoft github facebook whatever option you want so i'm going to continue with google and there we go so i have my account right here so i'm going to close it up i'm logged in as you can see before it was red now it's yellow which indicates that i am logged in so now i'm going to click on new project and here you can go ahead and select the size of your canvas. So select whichever size you want. So you can see you've got a bunch of different options. You've got the Facebook cover page, Instagram profile, Instagram story, Instagram portrait, Facebook group header, YouTube thumbnail, YouTube profile, YouTube cover header, Twitter header, Twitter profile. So whichever option you want, you can go ahead and select that. This is for the social ones. If you click on print, you can see the A3, A4, A5 options right here. Photos are going to be over here. So you want wallet, in print. You've got a 16 by 24 inch, you know, custom options as well screens are over here 4k ultra hd 2k whatever option you want you've got the mobiles over here ads and to i don't know what that is but you know you've got the option as well if you want you can go ahead and customize it by whatever you want so here you can see you've got your custom options increase the width height the dpi which is going to be you know pixels per inch right here you've got the background artboard profile you can select super rgb adobe rgb pro photo rgb or display p3 you can increase the bit ratio as well so depends on you and yeah then all you got to do is just select one of these canvas options and you should be good to go i'm just simply going to select this one right here just as an example but yeah 
So here is the editor. Here you can see on the left hand side, you have all of your main options. From here, you will be able to change anything you want, get access to any feature you want. So you've got this rectangle select tool. So when you select this, anything or any element within this rectangle is going to be selected. Basically, you know, you select the entire rectangle. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool. You've got this lasso tool as well. Uh, basically, what this does is it's a select lasso tool. So basically, you can go ahead and select you know something like this basically you know go ahead and do something like this and then you can go ahead and click on this move tool and then you can move that particular well area you know by yeah so if i select this i can go ahead and select that and i can move that around so again if i select this i can move this thing around anything within this and then we have this magic wand tool so what it does is over here if i hold my button down on each of these tools right so for example if i hold it down on any of them i can have additional options so here we have rectangle select or a clip select we have the lasso one we have the polygonal shape or magnetic lasso we've got the magic wand over here we can go ahead and click on quick selection object selection whatever we want so the cross should be fully inside the object so make sure that the cross within the box is fully inside the box right so keep that in mind we have the crop tool, we've got the eye drop, we've got the, uh, I believe that's the healing brush or something. I think this is used, I don't, don't really know what it's called, uh, but yeah, it kind of looks like a band-aid, but it's called a healing brush over here. We've got the brush tool, we've got the uh, stamp tool or the copy tool or even the clone tool. We've got the eraser over here, this is the gradient over here, this is the blur tool, and this is the dodge tool dodge tool right here and the text and the pen and then over here we have the path select then rectangle and we have the hand tool with the hand tool you will be able to move the entire object around and then over here we have the zoom tool the magnifier so you can go ahead and zoom it so if you click on zoom out of course you can go ahead and zoom it and to zoom out i believe you just press the control button and it'll automatically you know give you the option so yeah you can go ahead and do that as well if you press the control button and use the mouse wheel or whatever options you have like a trackpad you can move it right here if you select the shift tool you can move it up and down as well or without the shift tool as well totally depends on you but yeah and then over here on the right hand side you have your layers options so here you will have all the layers so we have text layer so if i click over here you can see that we've got the border over here and we've got the background over here then we have the channels so you can see rgb red green blue and then the paths as well and then over here we have some other options such as properties brush tools we have the paragraph tools and the css and the uh, final image tool or the gallery tour or the gallery tool here you can go ahead and upload any images from directly from the gallery so each tool can be used in any way you want for the crop tool you can go ahead and crop whichever image you want and once that's done just simply go ahead and select the layers you can find it over here click on done click on enter and the image will be cropped if you want to undo them just press the ctrl z and it'll be undone and yeah and the healing tool over here this is going to be used to you know go ahead and select the source by holding down the control button so for example if there is an image that has let's say let's go ahead and select this image you know for example at the background you can see maybe there's something like this bird right here we don't want that bird so for that we press the control button and select the area and then we'll just go ahead and put that over there smart object must be resized first and then resize so maybe we zoom in a little bit and you can go ahead and smudge it around but yeah how do i why isn't it working but i think it's best if i just go ahead and resize it because you know currently it's not accepting it's it's telling me to go ahead and resize the option but you know it totally depends on you but yeah, here you go you can see you know i've selected that option and yeah so as you can see it's working a little bit because i have the image at the background as well so if i just unzoom that but yeah you can see it's working a little bit too much but yeah i'll un control z and undo everything and we'll get back i'll also move this up a little bit so that the texts are gone and maybe yeah that looks much better if I click on resize, I can go ahead and resize it as well. So there you go. So now I can go ahead and do that. So as you can see, for the tree brush, I can do go ahead and do that as well. You know, it totally depends on you. But yeah, the text layer must be, but that's fine. But yeah, you get the idea of what it is, right? Same thing with healing brush tool over here. Magic replace, patch tool, and content red eye tool. So, you know, each tool is different and it will do whatever you want. 
but yeah pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you use photo p and once you've you know you've done your editing you want to go ahead and export the file all you got to do is click on the file button and over here you can see you have save as psd save more you know export as whichever option you want just select that let's say pdf and select the quality you want and then click on save and then save it onto your computer and there you go so pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you use photo p so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye